Howdy all, Nurse Dude back. And due to the vote, I also have my aid bag that I'm gonna be going over. Uh, this is a older style tactical tailor bag. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. I picked up the stuff used. I assume it probably was from a local vet who had been a medic and no longer needed it. And so I was more than happy to pick it up. It's a nice quality bag. It's um, of, I would say, three day pack size um, has you know nice padding on it it's in very good condition and i think i picked it up for a steal at 50 bucks so cannot complain whatsoever about that so let's go through the bag um, i believe i had spoken before um, on with fresh prints about kind of my preference for as far as the base bags contents are concerned i have a my medic set up it's just easier to gain all the different small pieces and add as you go comparatively to trying to part everything out individually and that's my method of how I do it so anyways so we have our main bag um, outside has two big pouches on it the bottom pouch here which I always make little pull tabs so that way I can pull them and they're always on the same side of the bag so that way every single bag I have I know where the pull tabs are I have my initial trauma stuff. I have a naso. I have a CPR shield because I don't want to be French kissing any of you guys. Shears, two tourniquets, and then back here inside this bag, I have a cravat, um, a couple extra dressings, and kind of stuff like that that I can get at really quick and easy to be able to initially, you know, respond to something that might be, you know, a critical trauma-based item. And then going on the top pouch, again, all the pull tabs are on the same side for little colored pulls so I know what I have. I have expanded stuff. I have my flashlight, I have my Sharpie, I have some glucose stuff, some uh, electrolytes, I have um, a boo-boo kit in here. This one is all my different sunscreens and bombs. Here's a small boo-boo kit, another one. Uh, I have my over-the-counter stuff, whether this be towelettes, um, for antiseptic stuff like that. And then the top, I have a little cold kit, which is kind of nice. It has some cold medicines in it. Um, these are my analgesics. So these are ibuprofen, NSAIDs, other things like that. And then I also have some Dramamine and some other aspirins and NSAIDs over there too. And also I have a lighter in here because you never know when you might need that type of stuff. And so this is Kind of like the sustainment pouch. I kind of have some extra items in here that I may or may not need, but something I can get to really quickly in case there's a cut, a bruise, a bump, and so on. So the main part of the body of the bag also pops open. And one of the reasons why I kind of like this bag over the other ones is that if I need to, I can also put my own personal, um, let's call it duty gear in here. I can put extra pair of socks. Uh, I can put other types of stuff in here because it's more than large enough to carry both my gear. Also do a water bladder in here too. So that way I can kind of double carry. So that way I'm not using as much um, gear. I can just do it all in one bag. Um, inside the main body of the bag, I have it just briefly labeled. Um, these are extra bandages and dressings. I can pull tab open, Corvan, I uh, have tape in here finger splint, other things like that. Just kind of quick and easy stuff. Um, here's my dressing and gauzes. So that way, in case I need to do a little bit more um, complicated wound dressing, I can be able to do that in case you really split something open or you smash a finger. I got a little bit more there. Uh, then going down, I have my cuts bags. This has an irrigation bottle to be able to flush out anything I need to. And then, um, then I have um, stereo strips. And then also if I really had to, I also do have a suture kit with a flashlight and a thermometer if I really, 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 really needed to. And that is a super emergency if I needed to do that. Uh, ultimately, I'm probably gonna use the stereo strips to be able to get all the different cuts together and kind of flush it out with that too. Uh, going down, I have extra airway stuff. Uh, this has an extra naso. It has an extra CPR shield because, again, I don't want to be French kissing anybody. And then also uh, seals. And you can use seals for other stuff other than just a chest wound. You can also use it to seal against stuff like 
um, a cut that potentially has it, or you might be able to seal something off that is temperature sensitive or sun sensitive. You can kind of use the seals that way too. Um, extra bleed stuff uh, has a little bit extra dressing, a little bit extra gauze. Um, I do have some quick clot. I'm not a really big fan of it, but if you have to, you have to. And then moving down a little bit further, this is kind of all my extra stuff in here uh, that I don't quite have another spot for. It's a little bit bigger of a pouch. So I have an extra Israeli dressing. I have a cold pack. I have some 550 cord, a large splint for your arms, uh, extra emergency blanket, glow stick in case I need to mark stuff. So this is kind of my larger bulk item area and it works out okay because it's kind of in the lower spot so that way it doesn't take up too much room. And then, oops, knocked the mic, so sorry about that. And then moving down a little bit further, uh, this is all kind of my exam and vital stuff. So I have my stethoscope, I have my blood pressure cuff, I have my pulse ox in here too. Uh, I also kept my burn stuff in here just because I don't quite know where else to put it, but in all likelihood, I'm going to be probably pulling out some of the stuff for burns. I may move it over here. Actually, let's just do that right now. We'll move it over to the kind of the over overflow bin just so that way it's kind of out of the way. Do that right now. There you go. I like that a little bit better. And rebuckle this. And then, so I have my stethoscope, blood pressure cuff, you know, things like that to be able to do vitals. And if I needed to, I could always expand on this as I go. Uh, another thing too, is that I tried to be able to kind of group things as needed. So that way I kind of know where they are. So I'm not hunting for things. And I typically will take this with me whenever I do, I want to say longer time-wise stuff and or further out from civilization. I always bring any type of med kit whenever we go wheeling. I have a one, this one I'll bring when we go on the crawler because that is a more uh, risky type of off-roading than necessarily otherwise. And then in the other one, I will just bring a simple med kit that has kind of basic things in it. So this is what I kind of have as a base and I kind of expand on it as I need. I kind of take things away. I also have a smaller bag that I can always throw stuff into. So here's my aid bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it.